Hi everyone. Here at Luxone, 85% of the development efforts go into our free software for programming home and building automation. The intelligence of our system is also what makes our system unique and particularly strong. To conclude 2023 in style, our developers are releasing another new update for both the config and our Luxone app by the end of the year. This update comes with some amazing new features. Let's take a look at what these are. This year, we have significantly increased the release cycle for updates to our config and app, so users, Luxone partners, and end customers can enjoy newly developed features and bug fixes much faster. If several wall boxes are used in a network, buildings and cables require special protection against overload. This is exactly what is guaranteed with the new wallbox manager function block. The load is distributed intelligently and buildings, cables, as well as supply lines are protected from overload. The distribution of the energy is divided into two charging modes. We've got intelligent dynamic access charging to use the PV system to its full potential and distribute energy fairly among all wall boxes. We've also got the prime mode with which the connected wall box is prioritized and receives the maximum available energy. The wallbox manager can also be used to implement a billing system divided into prices for pure excess charging, convenience charging, or even downtime. Of course, we've included a nice visualization in the Luxon app for you. By grouping all wallboxes into the central wallbox manager, you save many hours of programming in the config that you previously had to spend on handling all wallboxes individually. An important part of the Luxone config is the possibility to quickly and easily see whether all components are working and configure correctly at a glance. Luxone partners can run the health check once when leaving the construction site and see immediately whether everything is working or not. The health check previously included tree link and air diagnoses and has now been expanded. From now on, the mini server will also be checked to see whether DNS and network are configured correctly whether Remote Connect is working, and whether the SD card is okay. In many Luxone buildings, a tablet is used as a central control element via the Luxone app. This is also the case for the Luxone campus and the Luxone offices worldwide. So now, what could happen is that one user logs in or closes the app or the tablet updates and restarts. Then, the next user does not find the Luxone app interface that they are used to or expecting on the tablet. With Config and App 14.5, it is possible to integrate a tablet, whether iOS or Android, into the config like a Luxone device, link it to the mini server, and manage various settings. You can also monitor the app status on the device, display the device's charging status in the Luxone app, adjust the display brightness, and much more. Regardless of whether they are security related or standard, a ring on the doorbell or an alarm system, notifications from the Luxon app have so far mostly been treated the same in terms of sound. This will change with the new Luxon config in app 14.5. From now on, there's a distinction between different types of notifications, which translates into a different notification tone per case. The new notifications are divided into alarm blocks, doorbell, and standard notification. On Android, you can now ignore the do not disturb feature via the notification channels in the app settings of your operating system. On iOS, you will receive security critical notifications from the burglar, fire, and water alarms, as well as time critical notifications from the intercom, even when you are in focus mode in the future. With the latest update, products that were previously only available in the beta version, such as Dali Air, have also found their way into the release version of the Luxon Config and app. Numerous bug fixes have also been made with this update. As always, you can find all changes in the detailed change log. That's it for me today. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks for tuning in and I can't wait to see you next time.